Hey everybody, I'm Sarah Watson and this is the Bricksburg City News. We have come to reports today of a tragic roller coaster crash that just happened here at the Bricksburg City Fun Park. Investigators are investigating the crash as it is, but no survivors were found in the crash. Eight people were found dead from the roller coaster crash, but they couldn't be identified doing, well, you know, I don't want to discuss it. We are here with the five surviving witnesses of the crash. Can you tell me what happened, sir? How'd you know it was going to crash? I I just had this feeling, like, you know, that it was going to happen. I, did you take any medicine before getting on the ride? Did you take any drugs? No. I mean, I don't know how Emmett knew about it, but it was intense. Like, really intense. Then why did you get off the roller coaster? I just believed him for some reason. To me, Emmett had a hunch. It's very intense, but he had a hunch. I don't know what to say about this. Maybe Emmett's lying. Maybe he's telling the truth. I have no idea anymore. I have no comment on this. But it is a tragedy about what happened to these people. A real tragedy. I don't feel like discussing this anymore. I just want to go home. Okay. Well, that's all we have for today, folks. Here live at the Bricksburg City News. Back to you. I still can't get over it. I just wish there was something I could have done to stop it. There was nothing that you could have done, Emmett. Maybe there was. Maybe there it wasn't. I don't know. I don't know what to think about it anymore. I mean, you saw what happened. You believed me, right? Of course, Emmett. But I do think it's best if we go pay our respects to those people that died on the crash. You want to come? Hmm, I suppose so. This is messed up stuff. Car crashes, that's one thing, but roller coaster crash? Do you still believe Emmett about that vision thing? I don't even want to talk about that, to be honest. Does it anybody? Huh? What's wrong, Emmett? Did, did you feel that? Feel what? Never mind. Death doesn't like to be cheated. Excuse me? You all, just be careful now. What was that all about? I don't know. Yes, I like a thin layer of cheese and pepperoni. But no anchovies. You put anchovies on this pizza, and you are in big trouble, buddy. All right, clock's ticking. Nah, I suppose a drink wouldn't hurt until the pizza gets here. Hmm. <sighs> Are you okay, Emmett? What's wrong? I think something terrible is happening. Good thing. Well, that's weird. Dang it! Now I gotta clean this mess up! Ugh, dang it, man! I'm 
I'm sure you're just being paranoid, Emmett. I don't know. I sure hope so. Duh. Man, I can't believe I spilled that thing. I can't even find nothing in here to clean the mess up with. Huh? Ah! What the heck? Huh? <laughs> last night, Batman was found dead at Wayne Manor last night due to catching on fire and falling out of a kitchen window. God almighty. Batman. How could he die like that? Like, who dies drinking liquor? It can't be a coincidence. It can't be. I mean, I, I don't understand. How could he die to a thing like that? <gasps> oh no. I knew it was real. Emmett, what's wrong? I didn't want to believe this, Lucy, but I do, for some reason. That dream I had last night, I don't think that was a dream. I think it was a vision of Batman's death. In my dream, I saw like a liquor bottle and a candle. The candle fell over and caught the liquor on fire, and that's probably what killed Batman. And that boy at the cemetery, he said something about like death didn't like to be cheated. If we bump into him again, I'm gonna ask him for some answers. I need answers.